Oh, they're a problem, all right. Strutting, intimidating. They gather outside my dorm. Blocking traffic in Abington and Cambridge. There was one on um, election day by the, by the Grayman Park School holding up traffic as they crossed the street. It's quite it's amusing. Cool. I saw the police officer do, uh, ushering one of them off one day, so yeah. I thought that was fun. They, they don't understand traffic patterns. No, 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 they have their own traffic patterns. We've seen a turkey takeover in Woburn. They've even lunged at some of our reporters. <laughs> they fan their feathers in Jamaica Plain and run afoul of police in Littleton. And the poultry damage is in poultry. In Boston, they peck at their reflection on tires and bumpers ruining cars. When you see them walking around a rural town, you think, sure. But here's the question, what's up with all the turkeys, especially on city streets? It's bad enough we got to watch out for pedestrians and one way this and one way that <laughs> to add turkey, wild turkeys to the equation might be a little much. Turns out this is the result of a wildly successful conservation effort by the Commonwealth to reintroduce the native bird. Wild turkeys were at one point they were extirpated from Massachusetts. So by the mid 1800s, we no longer had wild turkeys here in Massachusetts. Sue McCarthy, a biologist from Mass Wildlife, says after a few failed attempts in the 1900s, finally in the 70s, it worked. Live birds, wild birds that were captured in New York State and they were brought to an area in the Southern Berkshires in Massachusetts where they were released. Maybe that's why they're so aggressive. They're New Yorkers. After they released those first 37 turkeys in the Berkshires, there were a thousand within a decade. And then the turkey population has exponentially grown to between 30 and 40,000 all over Massachusetts. And they adapt to suburban and urban areas. Now, the wild turkey's the official game bird of Massachusetts, and they're not fooling around. Unfortunately, we are inferior to them in the pecking order. If you act subordinate, they do, yes. Let's be honest, turkeys strut around like they own the place. There's a pack of young males that hangs out here in this Brighton neighborhood almost every morning. But experts say if we act afraid of them, we're actually not doing the turkeys any favors. So when people flee from turkeys or hide in their car from turkeys, or even um, when turkeys are stopping traffic and, and people stop and wait, all of that is explaining to these birds through our body language that they are in fact dominant. All right, backing off. And they get a little too comfortable. So if they're in your way, be big and bold and just as aggressive as they are. We're not encouraging people to physically harm birds, but to spray them with a garden hose or to toss a small object like a tennis ball at them and make contact. It's not gonna physically hurt the animal. I saw some in the bike lane up there. And I thought that was sort of funny, so I sort of made noise so they would get out of the That's good, that's what you're supposed to do. So we'll just have to learn to live cheek to jowl or waddle with our feathered neighbors, but firmly let them know they don't rule the roost. Don't let them push you around. In Boston, Paula Eben, WBZ News.